It's been officially six months since I moved to California, specifically Los Angeles, and here are a few things I've learned since moving here. I'm going to start with the weather and what I have learned about it. Temperature fluctuates like a lot. Like, and I mean like insane. For like in the, during the summer it's like not as much but still fluctuates, like changes a lot comparing to the East Coast. But here's the thing I'm gonna explain. So even in the summer mornings, it's usually cooler. Not like super cool, like 40 degrees cool, which it could be during the winter, but more like 50s or something, it's not that cold. But for regular people, for the locals here, they're like, oh my God, it's cold. For me, I'm like, well, it's okay, it's great, cool. Mornings, it's usually cooler. So it's more like, like coldest it would be like 50 something, then it goes up to like 60 or whatever, nice 70s. Then it goes up to midday, right? This is a time it's usually the most like hot, like the hottest it will be. Uh, it's gonna be like very different, like 70, it's gonna go up from 75 to 80 something, right? But again, this is more like during the summer. Sometimes it could get like a little bit higher, more like 90s. And then towards like the night, it temperature keeps going down. That's why like I don't even use my AC. Like I have to be honest, I don't use my AC that much compared to the times that I would use in the East Coast. Like I would use it all the time. I would open my door like and I have like this like um, net that catches the flies or something so I don't have to worry about that. But I just get the fresh air at night. And usually at night you have like such a nice temperature. Temperatures start going down to like lower than 70s is more like 68, 69, it's like really nice breezy and there's like the wind, ugh, so nice, perfect. But here's the thing to put it out there because again, I feel like people don't see this. I am more in the inland, obviously I cannot say like exact location, but more inland. So I get kind of like best of both worlds I would say. It never gets super hot in here, but it also never gets super cold in here but depending on geographically where you are in Los Angeles area your the temperature could change so much and that can really affect your whole routine and everything it's like almost like another country so what I mean by that is this like if you are near like near the water like Santa Monica, Marina del Rey, Playa del Rey, um, Malibu like all the coast it's going to be cold like in the winter it's gonna be like 40s or something it's gonna be like really cold uh, in the summer though it's gonna be like breezy but like still gonna be kind of cold like you want to need a jacket like it's gonna be 60 something so I mean very breezy very nice but like colder then when you go more into like the valley this is the part I'm like ugh, you have to be careful you can get more for your money in the valley, but that's also still changing now because it's everything is so expensive in LA. In the valley, temperatures could go upwards of like 90 something. Not as crazy as like the Palm Springs or Palm Desert or desert area, um, but it could get super, super hot. Like in here where I am, it's like 70 something, close to maybe 80 sometimes the max. I have friends who live in the valley, like near Encino, Sherman Oaks and stuff. They're dripping. They're dripping sweat because it's like 95, 94 or something. Second thing, and I feel like this is more focused towards like, I guess LA because it's very different like other parts of California so I don't wanna like generalize it. But parking here is something else. Like, I'm from New York, so like, I know how complicated it is to park in New York and like, it sucks, so it's like, different story, but like, in New York, not everyone drives. In here, pretty much everyone drives. What I mean by that is that like, yes, there's parking structure, garages, stuff like that, different story. Yes, you can park, that's fine. I mean like, the street parking. You would see like, this is not like a regular street sign here. 
Like, I've never seen a regular street sign. Once in a while, yes, but for the most part, I don't. So the parking signs goes like this. It's usually like so crazy. I'm gonna insert some screenshots so you guys like see what I'm talking about. Uh, it would say like no parking from, I don't know, like maybe 10 a.m. to like 12 p.m. Then it says on Tuesdays though, you can park from 10 p.m. to what this whatever time. But on Wednesdays, you cannot park because there's street cleaning from 8 p.m. to no, like 8 a.m. to like 10 a.m. or something, or like 9 a.m. or something. But there's like not one sign, there's like four or five signs sometimes for one street. And you constantly, I'm like, I'm like, oh, what day is it? Like, what, what day is it? Like, is this Tuesday today? Like, what day is it? So, yeah. And I mean, like, it's crazy. So you have to be super, super careful because your car will get towed. I'm serious, they do not joke around here. Another thing I learned is there's a lot of outdoor activities happening in California. And I'm gonna be super honest with you, if you don't like being outdoors or you don't like outdoor activities, California might not be the place for you. They go for a run, like their run clubs, super popular. There's tennis, there's so many sports, there's so many things to do. Like people are outdoors all the time. They're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, so definitely consider that because if you're not that person, at least be open to that because you're going to be making friends and making connections through it that way. Because unlike the East Coast, because for the most part people go drink and go eat. Yes, that happens here too, but like not to an extent that happens on the East Coast. So prepare yourself for that. And on top of it, and this is a great segue to today's sponsor, is Nasdaq headphones. So the reason I'm talking about this is because if you're going to be outdoors a lot, uh, before you make friends and talk to them, or even with friends too, you're gonna need some good headphones to do your outdoor activities. Like when you're going for a hike, when you're going for a run, like you need some good headphones that are noise canceling because there's so much noise out there especially like even if you're hiking there there are helicopters all the time like choppers everywhere uh it's very la thing so i don't know like what else to tell you but you're gonna get used to they're pretty loud so you need like really good headphones that are noise canceling i like these over the head headphones like they're so comfy and like because the regular ones sometimes like especially if i'm doing like a hike or run they like fall off my ears so these are perfect, they're secure, and they're very comfy, they're not heavy at all. Uh, greatest thing, thing about these like headphones is that they have good battery life, and on top of it, they have also just a regular wire that you can connect them and use them with your computer or other stuff. I use this when I edit. Because when I'm editing, sometimes there's like a delay with the audio, so I would personally and it's not just with these headphones, all the Bluetooth headphones are like this. So you can use these to edit and do other stuff with your computer. And this is the charger, it's the USB-C charger that you can use it. And that's it, like very convenient. And it had to come with its own travel case. It's pretty comfortable. Thank you Nasdaq for sponsoring this. I will put my link down below so you guys can check them out. If you have a car, already and you're bringing it to california remember you're supposed to register that car like change your plates within 30 days of establishing coming here you can register an out-of-state vehicle to california state with an out-of-state license like in my head i thought i had to because i am a still a new york resident I thought I had to become a California resident first, then change my plate, change my license and my plates to New York, California plates. Turns out that's not the case. You can literally, as long as you have a license and your car is another state, right? You can change it. It's completely separate. Like at least even in Los Angeles, not sure about like the rest of the California, they have separate divisions, separate offices, just for car registrations. 
So let me let me give you guys an example so you guys know, especially LA. So if you are doing like license services, meaning you're changing your own license from another state or you don't have a license at all and you're getting it, you have to go to either Hollywood office or there's another office of DME that's in DTLA, downtown LA. Those are the ones that does a they call it licensing services. So that's what you need to know. But if you're registering your car, these are the places that you're not supposed to go, okay? I know this is very strange to hear, but like DMV in here is has separate divisions and not every office does the same services that you're looking for. Because in New York or other places that I've been to, if you go to DMV, you just do all the things related to DMV. You don't have to go to a different office for that. But in here, yes, you have to go to a different office. For example, if you wanted to do your registration for your car, you can go to West Hollywood DMV and they only do registration for the car. Nothing related to your license. There are no license services there. And it was very easy, honestly, it was so quick. But what I learned from this, and I'm gonna say this again, yes, California is overall expensive, but registration of my car was very expensive. And here are a few reasons to put it out there if you have either electric car or you have somewhat of a luxury vehicle. I personally don't consider my car a luxury at all because it's like the cheapest Tesla you can get, Model 3. But it is considered luxury. I would not consider it. But because it's considered luxury and it's electric, you pay more for registration. According to California, you can Google this, I don't know the details, but because we are not paying as much in gas, uh, they are charging you a fee because you're saving money from the gas for the registration. There's some sort of a fee that they added, I don't know what it was, but that's what you pay more, one of the reasons, electric cars. And on top of it, I paid a bit more because of the penalty that I just got, because I did not register my car within 30 days. I guess I could have lied and said I got the, I brought the car here like when I was registering it. I didn't do that. I don't know if you can do that. And if you did that, like would they find out? Like, I don't know, you know? So you have to be super, super careful. Uh, <laughs> that fee was uh, not insane fee, but like it was like almost $120 or something which adds up to the total point, my registration became 900 bucks. People, for the most part, can come off very rude. Like, very, very rude. Like, I feel like even sometimes I come off like rude. But for the most part, I feel like we're not. It's just we're more like straight up and like say things as it is. But we are kind. We are very, very kind people. I feel like in here, from what I have observed so far is the fact that people are nice. They're super, super nice, but in a condescending way. Again, my thoughts might change later on, but it's just, I don't feel like it's real. Like it's just, it's so fake. There's like very like over the, like very surface level, super, super surface level. I think it's more because, again, I'm not saying this is all LA, but because maybe the crowd that I'm getting into, more like the social media crowd or like more like entertainment crowd, super, super fake. I just think that at least in like in Miami or even New York, I feel like if I don't like something, I'm gonna say I don't like this. Like you wanna go to that place, you can go, but I don't wanna go because I don't want to. Like I just, I don't like it. But in here, people try so hard to like just impress you in a point that like they will say something to impress you and I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna conclude it on this note. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also check the link down below for Nasdaq and I'll see you guys next week.